With the Acronis Cyber Platform, ISVs, developers, and MSPs are all able to integrate, customize, and extend solutions to protect data sources, add data storage locations, and implement data management functionality to drive new revenue streams. Users can also connect and sell with the Acronis community, including 50,000 channel partners, 500,000 business customers, and 5.5 million end users. In this demo, we will showcase our infrastructure to support development with the Acronis Cyber Platform and provide real-world scenario examples for API usage. In particular, we'll show you the resources available through the Acronis Developer Network, such as documentation, sandbox, code samples, and the Acronis Partner Program, plus Postman Collections. We'll also take a look at the Solutions Catalog and existing integrations. Finally, we will showcase the management portal and explain how you can replicate base scenarios from the portal using the API. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you all how to make more money with Acronis by becoming a developer partner. Before I tell you how, I want to highlight that the Acronis Cyber Platform is the foundation of Acronis Cyber Protection Solutions. We've opened and are expanding the APIs that we've used to build our solutions for years. Just recently, we've launched the Acronis Developer Network where developers, ISVs, and service providers can gain access to SDKs, documentation, code samples, forms, and training. Oh yeah, don't forget the sandbox. With Acronis Cyber Platform, developers gain the ability to integrate, customize, and extend new cyber protection solutions for their customer base. Meaning, as a partner, you gain access to more market share with solutions to protect new data sources, allowing you to offer multiple new data storage locations, as well as implement new data management functionality with all that the Acronis Cyber Protection Solutions have to offer. To support the platform, we've announced the Acronis Cyber Cloud Solutions Portal. With this portal, all of our existing and new integrations are detailed and explained, as well as made available to the Acronis ecosystem in one easy-to-navigate solution. Whether you need service automation, such as WHMCS, or Interworks, or RackNap, or possibly an RMM or PSA, such as ConnectWise or Atera, you'll find access to so much more here in the Acronis Solutions Portal. All of the solutions I've just mentioned are based on the already open part of our API. We have detailed documentation, guides, and examples to streamline your journey from the second you sign up to the moment you start earning money with the Acronis Cyber Platform. Within the Acronis Developer Network, you can find documentation on the Account Management API, which allows partner administrators to leverage all functionality of the Acronis Platform and manage their customer tenants users, services, offering items, user quotas, and so much more. From here, you go to the documentation link, click on an account management API, follow tenants link, and go to the reference link. From there, you'll learn how to authorize your client to support multiple environments. Moving forward, I'll show you where to find the code samples. You'll select samples. This will redirect you to the Acronis GitHub page where you'll find the Acronis WHMCS provisioning module in its entirety. Here's the repository. From here, we can go back and show you. We also have Bash, Python, and PowerShell examples published here as well. Out of convenience, we've created and maintain updated Postman collections for almost every API that we have. Now, let's take a look at the Acronis Account Management API. You can run it in Postman or view the documentation. Well, we could take a look through this collection here, but I really want to guide your attention down to the first runner located near the bottom of the left tree pane. This, this runner not only contains the main API calls used for many common scenarios, it also contains runners implementing a full task such as provisioning a partner, like this one here. Create a partner and assign all offering items and additions. Now let's really get into it. I have an empty partner tenant as you can see here. Now let's see how simple it is to perform tasks using this API. Now you can create an API client directly in the Acronis console or simply switch to Postman and use the API if required by policy. Switching over to Postman, I've created my API client, I've pasted my environmental variables into Postman already, so now I'm off to call other APIs. In order for you to call other API, you will need to issue an authentication token. This will use a client ID and client secret, and this token will be valid for two hours by default. Now, 
The nice thing about this is that there's no need to manually copy this token to all further calls as it's been set as the access token variable automatically. Now, let's get the API client info uh, so that we can go ahead and, and find out the information for this client tenant. As you can see, the access token is already set as the variable for the authentication bearer token. Now let's run the call and see that all was configured properly. You can see the tenant information here. There's no client secret information, so we must save that after the API client was created and treat that as the master credential for an integration. Now we're ready to make other calls. So let's create a partner tenant and enable 2FA for them. There are three parameters required to create a partner, name, parent ID, and kind. But you can add other parameters required for your business process later on. Now when we go and create this partner, you'll see all offering items that are available within this. As you see, when we run the command, there are a lot of useful parameters that are provided during the partner creation that can be specified in the initial call. If we open the test tab here, you'll see that we've also set the partner tenant ID to be set automatically within the environmental variables. Now let's enable 2FA for this partner tenant. All right, the execution was successful. Now let's check the Acrona Cyber Console. You can see here that we've created the partner account, but no services have yet been assigned. Additionally, you can see that 2FA has in fact been enabled. Now, let's head back to assign some services to this partner. In order to enable services for a partner, we first must know what services and offering items are available. Luckily, we can ask this through API. This will provide us with all the additions available and provide the kind of offering items. So let's make a call. We're going to provision all available additions, services, and offering items to this new partner. So for this, we set a wildcard or star for the addition parameter. For partner, we'll set kind as partner. From here, we'll run get available offering and we'll see that we've received a giant list of available offering items for our newly created partner. For the sake of time, I'm not going to apply any additional logic to this list. I'll just provision all of the options. So we'll select the entire JSON response. We'll go to set offering items for a partner tenant, switch to the body tab, and we will paste it in here. Now, the only thing I had to do was change the items to offering items, and then we were able to enable all of our offering items with one easy call. Now we'll refresh. You'll see as all of these services, all of these offering items are now enabled. See how easy was that? In just five calls, we have a fully provisioned partner ready to start earning you money. Of course, there may come a scenario in which you might want to provide credentials to your partner so they can manage services themselves. For this, we can create users, assign roles, and then activate them. If you're interested in learning more on becoming CyberFit with the Acrona Cyber Platform, make sure to attend the Acrona Cyber Platform workshop, Anatomy of the Provisioning Automation Integration. Wrapping up, we have taken a look at the Acronis Developer Network and how it provides access to real-world scenarios and examples, while the Solutions Portal gives you access to all of our new and existing integrations from an easy-to-navigate portal. Last but not least, we examined our Postman collections and ran through a common task of provisioning a new partner. All in all, if you take anything away from today's session, I just want to make sure that you remember that Acronis is here to support you from the moment you sign up to the first dollar earned.